Hello, hello, hello to all of my Sagittarius. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your general reading, Sagittarius. Let's get into it. Sagittarius, we're currently feeling the effects of this first quarter moon in Cancer. And so this is going to speak directly to your relationships with this. It's the feeling of feeling nurtured, right? And so the first time we feel the effects of water or we experience water is in a womb. So that's why I gave everybody the questions leading up to this first quarter moon in Cancer on Sunday. I gave you the questions that the video is dated the 26th of March to the 26th, I mean the 26th of April. Really about the type of relationship you had with your mom, your grandmother, you know, your your aunt, that female that that ancestral line, right? What what type of nurturing did you feel in your family? And so that's also going to help you with um, being able to uh, you know, it's first introducing you to nurturing, but also what nurtures you outside of your, you know, the women in your family. So here we have the, the, the King of Wands, we have the Ten of Wands, the Two of Wands, the Three of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, and also the Knight of Pentacles. So somebody is learning, somebody is working real hard to be in receiving mode of incoming information about what nurtures you and what doesn't nurture you. So you're continuing on that journey to work very hard. I'm seeing incoming information from source about staying in your purpose, um, learning the lessons from the past, but also moving forward optimistically because optimistically with all of this incoming information, this is incoming resources for money, credit, uh, healthy relationships, Income, income, not just money, paper coins, and credit scores. Incoming information about jobs that's coming up. Incoming information about love interests. Incoming. So there has to be a healthy balance of fire in your feminine energy. I mean, masculine energy and feminine energy has to be a healthy balance of this. So somebody definitely has the ability to inspire a lot of people and also to be booked and busy travel the world you have the whole world in front of you but somebody also has to be balanced out in their feminine energy i'm talking to men and women if you want to make more money this is how you're going to do it if you want to have healthy relationships this is how you need to do it if you want to have loyal relationships this is how you do it if you're if you want to be able to provide for your family or your friends in healthy ways this is how you do it which, so you have to be in your feminine energy to receive that information, okay? So that's what I'm seeing for you all. And so you want to be in receiving mode of things that nurture you, not things that burn you out. So if somebody is trying to bring you gossip, how does that really nurture you? Consider the source. There could be some people that's bringing you gossip because they want a paycheck from you. They want a job from you. Were they hired to do that or are they just being messy? have you sitting there burning into your time and therefore you're not making as much money as you could be. So this is where you got to kind of sort of sit down and be in receiving mode of source. Here we have the five of wands, the six of swords, the 10 of cups, the queen of swords, the eight of wands, and also the moon card. So something emotionally that was draining for you is trying to resurface from your past, some kind of something that was overwhelming. And again, something that just doesn't nurture your spirit. So Source is saying, here we have the Queen of Swords. This is masculine energy. Source is like, vet all the comments and all that stuff coming to you. If it doesn't, if it drains you, you may have to hang up the phone with some people because Source is trying to put somebody in a leadership position. So if you got all of this other stuff, people in your family calling and gossiping, because remember, this moon is affecting everybody. So if they call in and they've landed on the dark side of the moon, they can literally be draining on your energy when you're trying to apply for a leadership position on your job. Don't let them burn your money <laughs> because they got their own issues and they're, they're weighing you down with their problems. So here we have the eight of wands. Source wants somebody to stay inspired and stay focused. How do you see your life? There's nothing wrong with telling people, hey, listen, I got a lot going on right now because you don't need to tell. I'm looking for this leadership position. And that's a lot. That's a good That's a good stressor. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about applying for this leadership position. I don't have time to listen to your issues and problems. You don't have to say it that way because that'll come across as rude and mean-spirited to them. But you can say either don't answer the phone or 
I got a lot of great things coming. Or I think I'm ready to start dating again. I, I think I'm start ready to start traveling, meeting some new friends. I don't have time to be weighed down with somebody else's stuff that's trying to drain me. I already have a lot of... Do I'm looking... If I'm going to be weighed down, it's going to be booked and busy with clients. Not weighed down with somebody else's stuff. So you see what I'm saying, Sagittarius? This is the time to identify what nurtures your spirit and what doesn't nurture your spirit. And it's time to sail away with no regret. The depth of emotions was something that, you know, was draining you. Here we have the five of wands. And so... This lets me know that there are people around you that still have access to you. These are not people who cut you or who cut the people who, you know, cut you out of their life or people you've had to cut out of your life. They're not them. It's people that still have access to your ear gate and your eye gate trying to irritate your demons and trying to drain you, but that's going to cut into your money. Cuz imagine John or Kate calling you with a whole bunch of mess in your ear gate and your eye gate and you trying to focus on looking for a leadership position or making more money or you trying to be booked and busy with your business they're not calling you with nothing except dumping all of the issues into your universe now you're so drained you can't even focus on making more money but who are you really upset with you're upset with yourself so a source is saying to you and some of you all want new love coming across your path but again, entertaining conversation that's draining. You want that happy, peaceful family, but you're entertaining other stuff that's draining. And so it's taking away from your own family life. Sources like somebody got to get serious about it. Stop letting your past keep resurfacing because it will ultimately affect your current life. It'll affect your marriage. It'll affect your romantic relationships. It'll affect your friendships. It'll affect all of that stuff. So the closer and closer we get and some people have already lost people you may have even said to a person you know you know i i, I sometime i go off because i'm you know i'm still my my family they just and i'm talking about blood relatives my family they just weighing heavy on me and i didn't mean to go off on you by that time that person would have sailed on out of your life and said i'm just moving on and you could be upset because you're an overgiver they run at the first sign of trouble no they know what heal looks like so they're not going to keep getting blowtorched. This is a lot of fire in the car. So Source is saying to you, stop letting people that you love that's, that could be nurturing you, that you could be nurturing them, stop letting them weigh you down. That's the message here for somebody. Stop letting people weigh you down. Queen of Cups, I see a lot of compassion. Here we have the Four of Pentacles. We have the Death card. We also have the Eight of Cups. We also have the King of Cups and also the Fool card. So... We got the death card and the full card. Death card lets me know that um, these, you know, the old you is gone and the new person has resurfaced. You may have felt foolish in the past, but you've moved on from that. Somebody feels optimistic, like, you know what, the past is the past. I'm moving on from it, you know. And so whatever the lesson was, God taught me whatever lesson I needed to learn. And so now I need to move on from this and have compassion for situations and stay in my light. Stay in my light. Stay laser focused. So this is a this is a something that's going on in somebody's life right now with sources saying, you know, you're wiser now. Have compassion for a situation. Go spend some time near water, drink more water, exercise, do something that's going to kind of sort of nurture your spirit or you can pull your birth chart. That's a that's a cheat sheet right there. Pull your birth chart, print it out. See what separates you from other Sagittarius, right? Find out what nurtures your spirit. But here we have the four of pentacles and so sources so saying don't spend so much time on something that's a part of your past. Just move on from it. Just move on from it. Just move on from it. Move on from it. All right. So let's see what else we got going on here. Let's see what else we have going on here. Let's see what else we have going on here. Let's see what else we have going on here. Let's see what else we have. We have the Eight of Wands, the Five of Cups, the Three of Cups, the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Cups, and also the Four of Cups. Did I see the Queen? Yeah, Queen of Cups came out twice. So this is double down on compassion. You're like a doubly compassionate person on the other side. Because again... Again, something else was going on where somebody was getting mad, feeling like they were manipulated or something like that. But again, like I said, 
there's a double dose of compassion here. Here we have the five of cups. Somebody, something was keeping somebody up or like somebody was lamenting over something, like maybe thinking the worst. Here we also have the three of cups. Somebody's in a posture of gratitude now, focusing moving forward. Here we had the we had the four of cups that came out. Uh, we had the four of cups. Somebody was definitely lamenting over something, you know, like definitely just like ruminating over something to a point it was just emotionally draining you. And source was like, come on, move out, move, move out of that space. Queen of Wands here. So we got the King and Queen of Wands. Somebody's feeling happy, charismatic, and free, and just finally decided to move on. Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands lets me know that things are going. Somebody's going to be fast tracked. So whatever is happening, either in your, because this is about balance. Something could be over, could have been overwhelming you emotionally and causing you to be angry in your personal life that it was affecting your per, your your business, or your professional life, or vice versa. Source is saying to you, the moment you stop, you sail away from overthinking something. And there could have been some new information that came across where you're like, okay, I, I do need to move on from this. Let me just move on from this. That's when you start seeing things happen real fast for you, Sagittarius. So the lesson for somebody to learn is to, when you start getting to a point where you're ready to pull out a blowtorch, and this, there's the information, the page of so the page of source. Some new information came across somebody's path, giving them a kind of green light to just move on from something. To just move on from something, you know. You may have some people that when your life Sagittarius that thought they were doing, they meant well by bringing information to you, but it wasn't doing anything but draining you even more. And so you got to pay attention to that because if it's draining you even more, that's not nurturing you. It doesn't matter what, you know, physical body it comes in. It doesn't matter what the title is. If they keep bringing it back up over and over and over again and you feel drained from it, it's time for you to tell them, put the full brakes on. Step out of your comfort zone and ascend higher. Find out what your north node is. Since you're pulling your birth chart, find out what your north node is. Find out what your north node is. Somebody needs to ascend higher because Source is trying to bring a lot of, like, not only income in terms of money, but a new leadership position, more money there, meeting new friends, travel, all kinds of good things coming across your path. And so some, some people could have been in your life right now. Keep draining you with information and so something could have it could have been something from the other side somebody else could have said no i'm moving on from this and it could have prompted somebody to tell you it's, it's time to move on it's, it's time to stop talking about certain things and it's time to move on so that's what source is trying to help somebody to do is just finally move on from something because as a mutable sign sagittarius you would have just kept going with the flow of things and just being frustrated feeling somebody was manipulating the situation source is like nobody's trying to manipulate people are there are people out here, that's where the double compassion comes in in the Queen of Cups, people in the uh, King of Cups. People are out here really hurting with real stuff going on. People died in their family, all kinds. Of, just like I said, somebody had to put the full brakes on something. Something inspires you. Maybe some new information that came in to move on. Something, something, I mean, people are living real lives out here. Everything is not entertainment. Everything is not like people have real, we got to deal with human beings, real emotions. People are really dealing with things. So here we have flow like water. You're going to start seeing things flow like water because you've moved on. You've moved on from something. So keep on moving on. Keep moving on. All right, let's see what your number is. And let's pull an affirmation card and let's close it out. 31, I am disciplined. That's what Source has been trying to get somebody to do, to be more disciplined. If people are bringing drama into your life and causing you to keep talking about it and get upset every time you talk about it, Source is like, uh-uh, no. I'm trying to make you wealthy. I'm trying to put everything in perfect alignment for you. So if you just keep going with the flow, I'm going to cause them on the other side to go ahead and cut it off and just leave it leave it alone so, so you have no choice but to close it out and end the situation. Here we have 31. Your approach to life is an effective mix of both practicality and imagination. Your mind is stirring with creative ideas, and you have the organizational skills to manifest them to life. 31 is your number. 31 reduces to 4. That's the number connected to the earth. Source wants somebody to get rooted and grounded. Rooted and grounded. If you got people in it, that adaptability works great when you're adapting to positive things. But if you're adapting to negativity... It'll cause you to bring out that blowtorch and it'll blowtorch your own money. That makes no sense. Somebody has to learn how to, you know, somebody's going to have to learn how to use their fire 
but ways that's going to make you more money, healthier friendships, more loyal friendships and relationships. So seek professional support. Yep, this is the next step. Seek professional support. So that's what Source is trying to tell somebody. Let's pull, we got a number card. Let's pull an affirmation card, Sagittarius, and let's go ahead and close it out. Because one of the things that I'm picking up here is that somebody, some, somebody could have gotten some information to just move on, move ahead. You know, like I said before, when we speaking of uh, seek professional support, somebody could already be seeing a therapist, and a therapist could have been the person that was just keeping the fire going, like just to have something to do. You know, and so you could be, you could be like, you know what? Somebody else on the other side could have said, "Thank you, but no, thank you. I need to move on from something," and that could have stopped it all. So here we have bliss. I liberate my highest self. My life is full of wonderful surprises. I am full, I'm free to be me. I express my individuality. I am grateful for my unique qualities. I see the beauty in the highs and lows of life. I am connected to all that is, and I am grateful for silver linings. I'm grateful for silver linings. Grateful for silver linings. One of the things that I'm seeing in one particular situation here, Sagittarius, is that someone never meant you any harm. But when you got this much fire here and this much water here and there's that much confusion going on, it's kind of hard to see. With some, so be grateful for the people who have walked out of your life, not in a sarcastic way, but they stop giving air to certain things, especially when you when some other people don't have all the facts and they're just trying to piece things together, making the situation worse. Be grateful for somebody that says, I'm putting the brakes on this and I'm moving on. You know, because I'm not trying to hurt Sagittarius. I'm not trying to hurt their reputation. I'm not trying to do... Be grateful for people like that. All that other stuff, Source is trying to help you clear up space. You've already been working hard. Source is trying to help you to learn how to invest in yourself so that you can receive the abundance that's trying to come your way. Be in receive your givers. Source wants you to be a receiver of the things that you've been praying for. So this. Like I said before, and I've been saying for the last couple of readings, connect with some Sagittarius that are out here adapting to a great life because they've done the inner work. They've done the inner work. There's tons of Sagittarius that's online, successful, out here winning because they've done the work. That's what I have for you, and I will see you all on Sunday. Bye.